I just want to welcome everybody uh, to this occasion tonight, and her, her mother and I, um, we, we've been doing a lot of talking lately, and we're, we're just filled with joy, and, and we, just, we just know that their, their marriage is on a good foundation because they love Christ. God showed me that on this day, 1-8, that there would be a verse, if I speak it over you today, and I'm going to, that will define your marriage. And I want you to really think about maybe this being the scripture that you build your life on because you've been together a lot of years but something's gonna shift, something's gonna change. When you utter your vows today, Who would have known two middle schoolers who met in sixth grade became friends and the best of friends in eighth grade to carry on such close friendships until sophomores in high school when we became boyfriend and girlfriend. I know in sixth grade that I certainly had no idea where we'd be today, but God had greater plans. I am eternally grateful to God. You are my very best friend, Jordan. You truly are my home. Every time we embrace, I have such peace, happiness, and no one makes me feel the way that you do. Amy Joey, the day is finally here. I am beyond blessed, excited, and equally nervous. Fourteen years ago when we first met and I saw that beautiful smile of yours, I knew that there was something about you that nobody else had. I didn't know what else to do but smile back, and by the grace of God, we became good friends that day. The day that you told me you loved me for printing out those papers for your project was the day I knew that you were going to be my wife someday. I can't wait to begin our new journey into this marriage and see what God has in store for us. I'm so blessed that I am able to marry you, my best friend, and spend every last day with you. Jordan and Amy, there are no words to express how great you guys are, but I'm going to try. I had the pleasure of meeting Jordan and Amy in the summer of 2018. When I met Jordan, I met a brother. God had forged a friendship of two men that craved his heart, and Jordan is a forger. He takes men in his life and he makes them better than they are. Joshua 1.8 God said three times to him, Joshua, be strong and courageous, for the Lord thy God is with thee. So I'm going to say it again. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Don't let this book of the law, my word, depart out of your mouth. Keep speaking it. Meditate on it day and night. And be careful to do everything written in it. Then, then you will be prosperous and successful. I count on every word you say. In the back of my mind, I repeat them one by one. I need it when I'm falling apart and bury my head in your hands and heart. I come undone. Once you close to me, close to me. Today is a beautiful day, and the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad and rejoice in it. I am so blessed to be standing here in front of you today, in front of all of our family and all of our friends. 
Jordan, you are my home. You're my very, very best friend. You are always in my corner and you have my back at all times. I am always safe with you. Whatever comes our way, it, it's okay. Because what God has joined, let no man separate. to me and what if I wonder what if I'm